Rebecca Gordon. Oh, Sylvia Gordon. And if you would like to be featured on Forbes, CNN, NBC, or Fox, stay tuned. Sounds too good to be true, but yes, for a low, low price of $300, you too can be seen on Forbes. Now, this bugs the crap out of me. Am I allowed to say crap or do I have to zing that out too? You can say Because it bugs more than that C R. It totally is. So you have agents rock. that prominently display this on all the materials as seen them. on CNN, Businessweek, Newsweek, Fox, ABC News, Fox News, 2020, blah, 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 blah. Oh and you're God. like, what? They must be a big deal. What? How Wildly is this successful. If you want to do this, all you do is Google it, um, go down. What's the what are the what are the one of these companies? Uh, this one is called Brand Note or something. But just put as seen on Fox CNN yeah. and it'll pop Brand up. Brand Noted. Brand Noted. Okay, so go down. You get all of these. You can you have the right to use these affiliations. And you, no, you're not going to be on Fox and you're not going to be on CNN. Here's the pricing. So for uh, three hundred bucks, nice. they're going to whatever, 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 whatever. Nice. Okay. They write the articles. They write the article and publish it for you and put your name on it and put it on a site affiliated with these sites that no one ever sees and gives you the right to then use their logo. So you're just paying for the right to scam your clients, in my opinion, because yeah. you know you weren't on Fox right. and you know you you're not on, on you weren't on Forbes. <laughs> okay. But they're like Forbes Council of Insurance Agents. And it bugs me because the average senior member consumer does think that's right. a good agent and that's a better misleading. it's a better agent than this this guy or that guy mm -hmm. i don't, don't want to work with you right you won't you're not, all not on forbes it's the same with publishing all these books a lot of people have best sellers yeah there's no such thing as these guys having best sellers that's another whole scam they pay 10 grand or more to have a book that the publisher buys. Mm -hmm. So if the publisher bought, I don't know how many copies. It's like we've been asked. Yeah, many times. To they're like, why don't you have a book? Why don't you have a book? Because it's scammy. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not a real book that real people are buying. Right. That's very few and far between. Most of these books that agents are writing, they have two to four pages right. in a book with other people that paid the ten to twenty grand to be in the book. The thing you pay that money to be on the cover. Shaking hands with some famous guy on the cover, that's what you're paying for. Yeah. So we're not if you're that. doing it, you know, I'm not shaming you because it is effective marketing. Mm -hmm. I'm just letting everybody know that wants to know how do they do it? This is how you do it. If you want to do it too, my personal opinion is I think it's a little scammy. However, it is legit and, and you can do it. If you want to do it, there you go. All right. Let's talk about Irma, something really unrelated to Forbes. So all of these things right here, you know, it is amazing. And I hope you guys are tuning in to Medicare Mama. Sylvia does her, you do it daily, don't you? And we have Aaron Bennett doing a ton of social security. And I'm just going to say for myself, I learned a ton, especially about Irma. And these items right here are things that your clients could do, which is going to screw up their Irma, right? right. And how well, much they get... From social right. security. It's like right now with the housing bubble, a lot of your clients are thinking about selling their houses. They're for all sure. my clients are all telling me, they're like, I'm gonna sell. Absolutely. Like, well, I'll rent for a year, let things calm down, or I'll get in a camper van, or I'll move <laughs> in with my daughter. They're like, I can cash out. I had two more people on Friday tell me. And then Dave's best friend, she's doing the same thing. She's selling her house. And people are stopping by our house. Right. So to buy our if house. you sell your real estate and make a re realize a big profit, then that could drive up your arm. Yes. Okay. So yes, you do have ways to appeal your Irma with Social Security Form 44. But if you take your if you take a bunch of out of your retirement account, you're not going to be able to appeal that. You're going to be stuck with that. So just make sure that you become well versed with Irma and the actual grounds to appeal it, because more and more people are going to hit that, hot in that, and they're going to come to you, and you're going to be like, I don't know, it's a web. I don't know. Let's it's talk about web. Color Guard. This is a bunch of mismatched weird stuff. I love it. Until the carrier bids are approved and we're talking actual product, right now we're talking stuff that most people miss during COVID. So did you know that CMS will cover your colonoscopy test if you do it through the mail through Color Guard? So this is brand new. That I love this. This is brand new, these Color Guard tests. So you just 
collect your own fecal sample if you haven't done it. I've never done color card, I've done colonoscopies. Uh, well, the fecal sample's quite interesting. And some people about throw up and die because they're not used to Have doing you done it. this? Yes. Okay. I'm okay because I grew up on a farm. I'm fine. Oh. But Dave almost died. Oh. Okay. So. City boy. It's way easier than a colonoscopy. Way. You don't have to drink that you stuff. You don't have to drink diarrhea anything? For six hours. No. You just poop in the thing. Okay? But then how do they see if you have any polyps? They can tell from your cells. From your poop? Yeah. So it's not an invasive procedure. Cool. I have had a client that had her colon perforated from a colonoscopy, which you can die from, which is extremely dangerous oh my because, yeah. So this is a non-invasive procedure. Piece of cake. And the thing is, you can't just go to CVS and go buy it. You have to probably get a prescription for it. The and doctor, then they're gonna send the it doctor to you. orders it and the doctor has it sent to you and the insurance companies are covering it. So if your doctor's not aware of that before your doctor, because normally they don't coordinate care. Right. And you're like, it's time to get another colonoscopy. And you just, well, I did. I, you just call in. I will do that the next time. Look at Color Guard. And they have a cute little mascot here. Yeah. This is their mascot. Super this is cute. a big deal because colon cancer has really oh, risen. Man, it's one oh, of the man. largest killers and preventable death. So I'm a big fan of preventative colonoscopies. I want to talk a little bit to throw my boa down because this is something that's confusing. But even just a little plug on doing colonoscopies, it's not that big of a deal. Even if you can't do this and you have to drink the stuff, it's not that big of a deal. I've had four. I have to get them because of her. Yeah, because I made her high risk. She made me, so now I have to get them all the time. It's not a big deal. Yeah, so every time I do, I have one or two polyps, which I almost like, Cool, because that could have turned into colon cancer. Right. right. Right? But that made my whole family high risk. But let's talk about this as an agent in Medicare Advantage. If I tell my client, I'm getting down and dirty here and roll my sleeves up, okay? If I tell my client, colonoscopy, colonoscopy is a preventative service, and this, this often you get it, and you will pay nothing because it is free as a preventative service under original Medicare, MedSup, MedAdvantage, okay? But then I already have had a polyp before. Okay. When I get a colonoscopy, it's not preventative. Right. Now it's diagnostic. Diagnostic has associated costs. Yes. So you told your clients it was free. I came out with a $250 bill. I'm furious. So most of the companies, but not all, but notably United Healthcare is leading the pack on this. I think everybody will eventually follow, but right now I think it's only United and Aetna. That if you've ever had a colonoscopy that had a polyp, they're still gonna count you as preventative. Really? They're not gonna give you the cost. If you've ever had breast lumps. Well, it's- Cause I'm super, I'm super healthy, but I've had breast lumps. So now every mammogram is not preventative. For me, it's diagnostic, which costs more money. It's gonna say it makes, it makes sense for the insurance company to do that because you are more inclined to get your colonoscopy. If I don't have to pay all the money. Knowing it's a, and it's cheaper for them to stay on top of your health so that all of a sudden they're not having to pay Colon cancer claims, right? Right. Because if you if the client's like, oh, I don't want to pay three, four, five hundred dollars, sure. Then they get colon cancer, and you gotta they gotta pay a hundred grand. Then they gotta then they're paying. So this is a right. win for the member, a win for the insurance company, a win for America. Namaste, amen. Namaste. Okay? So that is something that I'm very passionate about. But if you don't explain it correctly, not all the Medicare Advantage companies are doing that. So not all of them count it as preventive. It no. is possible some are still doing diagnostic. diagnostic. So we called Anthem and Insigna and WellCare. We called them all. And most of them, United says, yeah, it's all it's all preventative. We're cool. But most of them said, well, it depends cool. on the plan and it depends on uh, the state and it depends on the policy year. So basically they said no. Yeah. But that will change. So if you're selling for anybody but United, be careful when you explain that preventative feature that you explain if you've ever had a problem in the past, you're not preventative anymore. Yeah. So that's all we have this week. Stay tuned. And look, folks, please, we kindly ask you, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, if you know your friends who are also in the business who have not subscribed, could you encourage them to do so also? Thanks for watching. Good selling.